good morning students of class 4th students today i'll be continuing with lesson 3 the blind man and the elephant students today i will be revising the comprehension which we had discussed in our last video and after that i will move ahead with rest of the exercises so those of you we've got the new edition of the wordsworth english reader book please turn to page number 23 of your wordsworth english reader book students first i'll revise the comprehension and the first exercise is answer the following questions briefly now first question is who had brought the elephant to the village what was the elephant's name answer a wise man had brought the elephant to the village the elephant's name was gadju question number 2 why weren't people afraid of the elephant answer gadju was a tame animal so no one was afraid of him question number 3 what was different about the four friends answer all the four friends were blind all the four friends were blind question number 4 did the four friends describe the elephant in the same manner answer no the friends did not describe the elephant in the same manner question number 5 what did the wise man tell the four friends answer the wise man told the four friends that they should have pooled their information instead of arguing over who was right question number 6 what did the four friends realize finally answer the four friends realized their mistake and did as advised by the wise men thus they were finally able to get a clear picture of the animal in their mind now question number b we need to identify the body part of the elephant that the blind man touched when he gave the following description now it's like a tree which part of the elephant was like a tree answer the elephant's leg answer the elephant's leg now which part of the uh, elephant was like a snake answer the elephant's trunk because it is flexible so it appears to be like a snake question number 3 it's like a rope which part of the elephant is like a rope answer the elephant's tail looks like a rope it is very small compared to the elephant's body it's like a fan which part of the elephant is like a fan the elephant's ear answer is the elephant's ear now think and answer the following questions why was there a difference of opinion among the four friends answer there was a difference of opinion among the four friends because each one of them was describing only a part of the big animal they all had their own view of what the elephant was like each of them thought that he was right question number 2 do you agree that the four friends represent people who are inflexible in their thinking answer yes i agree that the four friends represent people who are inflexible in their thinking because they do not examine a matter from all sides they believe certain things to be fact without verifying the source now question number 3 is it a good thing to be rigid at thinking answer no it is not a good thing to be rigid in our thinking because everyone looks at things from different angles we should appreciate other people's opinion this will help us in improving our relations now students we had uh, we have learned many new words from this lesson and we have also framed sentences so let's revise our sentences once again before we move to the exercise given on page number 24 so the words which we have learned from the story on first word was argue now the sentence on argue is i am not in the mood to argue second was opined 
the teacher opined that the picnic would make a nice change and opine means gave an opinion now third means third word is tame which means gentle and the sentence is it is difficult to tame a tiger and but here um, we have used the word tame as domesticated tame uh, is also uh, animals which stay in wild are known as wild animals and the animals whom we domesticate they are also known as tame animals now fourth word is appreciate i appreciate your help very much and appreciate means praise fifth word is eager the students were eager to know their result and eager means curious now students uh, those who have got works please turn to page number 24 i'll be starting with exercise on language structure now our first exercise is based on synonyms uh, students synonyms are words which have got the same meaning now as you can see in the exercises certain words are um, printed in red color and they are underlined so in this exercise write the synonyms for the underlined words in the given sentences use words for the help box given below if you can't think of one now in the words uh, given in the box you can see certain words so now let's look at the words in the box deprived deprived means uh, people who are not financially well who are poor so deprived is the synonym of poor then sufficient sufficient is the uh, when this means a sufficient quantity is there something so enough the synonym of sufficient is enough student synonym of student is pupil then delivered delivered synonym is gave and last word is silently silently means quietly so now we know the synonyms pupil is uh, student gave is delivered enough is sufficient poor is deprived and quietly is silently so now we can solve this exercise we need to write the sentence again but instead of the highlighted word we need to use its synonym so the first sentence is i am a sincere pupil at school so our sentence will be i am a sincere student at school we'll replace the word pupil with its synonym that is student second the postman gave the letter at my father's office so we'll use the synonym the postman delivered the letter at my father's office third we did not carry enough water with us for the picnic synonym of enough is sufficient so we'll be using the word sufficient in place of enough we did not carry sufficient water with us for the picnic fourth one can see many poor children in the slums now replace the synonym of poor one can see many deprived children in the slums fifth the cat quietly pounced on the rat so the synonym of quietly is silently the cat silently pounced on the rat students please do write these exercise in your english notebook now spell check in this we need to write the correct spellings incorrect some spellings are correct also now we need to identify which are the correct one and which need to be corrected students our next exercise is based on spellings we need to correct the spellings now certain spellings are incorrect which we need to correct but some correct spellings are also given and we need to know and for this we need to learn the spellings now the first spelling is exclaim this is a wrong spelling students and please write the correct spelling i am uh, dictating it to you the correct spelling would be e x c l a i m e d exclaimed again i am repeating e x c l a i m e d exclaim now the second spelling is also wrong 
we'll i'm dict i'll dictate the correct spelling to you that will be a double p r o p r i a t e appropriate again i'm repeating it a double p r o p r i a t e appropriate third is routine again it's an incorrect spelling please uh, note down the correct spelling i'm dictating it r o u t i n e r o u t i n e r o u t i n e routine r o u t i n e routine now the fourth spelling again is incorrect it is a spelling of convicts the correct spelling of convince is c o n v i n c e instead of s c will come c o n v i a v i n c e c o n v i n c e now fifth word is arguing in this also e will not come you need to cut the e and then rewrite the spelling correctly and the correct spelling of arguing is a r g u i n g a r g u i n g then the spelling of hurried is correct we need not correct it because already the correct spelling is given the spelling of cylinder is also correct now the eighth spelling of voyage is wrong instead of i y will come so we need to write the correct spelling of voyage voyage means a long journey especially by a ship v o y a g e voyage v o y a g e voyage now ninth spelling of intervene is also incorrect so the correct spelling is i n t e r v e n e intervene i n t e r v e n e intervene i n t e r v e n e intervene last spelling of creature is also incorrect i'm dictating the correct spelling to you spelling is c r e a t u r e creature c r e a t u r e creature c r e a t u r e creature so these are the correct spellings please write the correct spellings and learn them now students we'll start with the grammar exercises this is about definite and indefinite articles now students articles what are articles a n the these three are articles and now we we'll know the difference between definite articles and indefinite students the t h e the is known as definite articles while a and n are known as indefinite articles a and n are indefinite articles they are used before nouns that are general or which have been mentioned for the first time in a piece of writing beta abhi tak to humne padha tha ki hum a n wo words ke pehle use karte hain jo vowels se start hote hain and rest ke liye hum nahi use karte but there are abhi you need to learn a bit more about articles now abhi humko dekhna hai कि हम वो कोई भी नाउन अगर सेंटेंस में पहली बार आएगा तो हम ए एन एन यूज करेंगे बट वी नीड टू कीप इन माइंड द वर्ड शुड स्टार्ट विथ अ वॉवल के पहले वाले जो भी वॉवल्स से वर्ड स्टार्ट होंगे उनके पहले हम एन यूज करेंगे और कॉन्सनेंस के पहले हम अ यूज करेंगे बट अगर वो वर्ड सेंटेंस में फिर से रिपीट हुआ तो हम ए एन नहीं यूज करेंगे उसके लिए हम डेफिनेट आर्टिकल द यूज करेंगे बिकॉज वहां पर बेटा हम किसी पर्टिकुलर चीज के बारे में बात करेंगे वील रीड द एग्जाम्पल्स एन द इज नोन एज डेफिनेट आर्टिकल अब बेटा हम द कहाँ कहाँ यूज करते हैं कोई भी नाउन जब वो सेंटेंस में रिपीट हुआ तो उसके पहले हम द यूज करेंगे उसके बाद द कहाँ यूज होता है इट इज गिवेन प्लीज लिसन टू बी केयरफुली द इज यूज विद द नेम्स ऑफ माउंटेन्स रिवर्स न्यूज पेपर्स ओशंस सीज होली बुक्स डायरेक्शंस एसेट्रा इन सब के आगे हम बेटा द यूज करते हैं द इज यूज विद द थिंग्स दैट आर ओनली वन ऑफ अ काइंड जितनी भी बेटा यूनिक चीजें हैं जो ओनली वन ऑफ इट्स काइंड लाइक 
अर्थ अर्थ इज ओनली वन सन सन इज ओनली वन तो हम यूनिक चीजों के पहले द लगाएंगे एंड फॉर मोन्यूमेंट्स ऑल्सो बेटा जैसे ताजमहल इट इज ऑल्सो यूनिक उसके जैसा कोई दूसरा नहीं है एंड इट्स मोन्यूमेंट ऑल्सो तो इनके पहले हम क्या लगाएंगे द रिवर्स के नेम के पहले माउंटेन्स के नेम के पहले न्यूज पेपर्स ओशन सीज होली बुक्स डायरेक्शन एंड यूनिक थिंग्स इन सब के पहले क्या आएगा द द इज यूज विद द थिंग्स दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट और द हम उन चीजों के लिए भी यूज करेंगे जिनके बारे में हम पहले बात कर चुके हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई सो डैश मैन इन द गार्डन तो यहाँ पे मैन फर्स्ट टाइम आया तो उसके पहले हम अ लगाएंगे अब अगेन अगर सपोज आई सो अ मैन इन द गार्डन डैश मैन वॉज वेरिंग अ रेड शर्ट अगर हम उसी मैन के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं और वो रिपीट हुआ सेंटेंस में तो हम उसके पहले क्या लगाएंगे बेटा द क्योंकि हम उस डेफिनेट मैन एक पर्टिकुलर बंदे के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं तो जहां पे वो वर्ड नाउन सेंटेंस में रिपीट होगा वील बी यूजिंग द बिफोर ईट इज द्लियर नाउ आई स्टार्ट विद द एक्सरसाइज द इज यूज विद द थिंग्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट आई सॉ अ मैन इन द गार्डन हमने मैन के बारे में पहले बात की द मैन वॉज वेरिंग अ रेड शर्ट यहाँ पे मैन फिर से रिपीट हुआ है हम उसी मैन के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं इसलिए हम उसके पहले क्या लगाएंगे बेटा द नाउ कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस यूजिंग ए एंड द नाउ प्लीज लिसन टू बी केयरफुली एंड आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस आई ऑलवेज कैरी डैश अम्ब्रेला बिफोर अम्ब्रेला सिंस अम्ब्रेला इज स्टार्टिंग विथ अ वाल सो विल बी यूजिंग एन आई ऑलवेज कैरी एन अम्ब्रेला Now the word umbrella has been repeated in the second sentence. So we have already talked about it before. So we'll be using the in the second one. First, we'll be using I always carry an umbrella. Now since we have used the word umbrella in the first sentence, so in the second sentence the will come. The umbrella with the red stripe is my favorite one. The umbrella we are talking about a particular umbrella. So it's will be using the i always carry an umbrella the umbrella with the red stripe is my favorite one hope everybody is done it now let's come to the second sentence is dash man wearing a check shirt uh, your brother now we are talking about a particular man so is the man we will not say is a man because we are talking about a particular person is the man wearing a check shirt your brother third we saw dash and carrying dash small piece of students third one we saw we saw and and carrying with ant we have used n why because it starts with a vowel we saw an ant carrying a small piece of cake we saw an ant carrying a small piece of cake Fourth, she bought some apples. As she took bite of, now we are talking about. She bought some apples as she took bite of an apple. Here we'll be using an an apple. She found that the apple was. rotten she bought some apples as she took bite of an apple she found that the apple was rotten now some apples out of that she has selected any one so before that we have used an and again in the sentence when that particular apple is repeated so we have used the before the apple now fifth the children were left alone on an island here we'll use an and now again island is repeated so the island 
had many palm trees. The children were left alone on an island. Now, island has been again repeated in the second sentence. So, we'll be using the. And why capital T? Because it's coming after a full stop. Now, we met. Sixth one. We met an Australian. The Australian could speak Hindi fluently. Now, Australian has been repeated in the second sentence. So, we'll be using the before it. Now, seven sentence. Dash Ganga originates from Dash Himalayas. Now, again, as we have uh, read the rules with name of rivers, with name of mountains, we use the. So, both sentences will be using the. The Ganga originates from the Himalayas. The Ganga originates from the Himalayas. Now, eight. Have you read the news? News. With news, we'll be using the in the times of India. Have you read the news in the times of India? So, students, this was about articles. Now, our next exercise is based on punctuation, use of apostrophe. And the exercise apostrophe is, but the apostrophe is used. When do we use apostrophe in a sentence? To show that a letter or letters have been omitted. That is left out. These are also contractions. Contractions means the short forms. The two words are then placed together. For example, do not as don't, should not as shouldn't. When we use nouns in their possessive forms. Now first, they are used, uh, uh, sign of apostrophe is used for short forms. That's for contractions. And second, we use it to show possession, the possessive forms. Now, before I start the exercise, you need to know uh, something more about the short forms and the possessions, which we have already revised in class uh, 3. Students, our next exercise is on the use of apostrophe. Apostrophe is used for short forms or for showing possessions. Now, before we start with the exercise, I would like you to revise the short forms, which you have already learnt in class 3. So, students, let's revise the short forms. I am, I apostrophe am. You are, you apostrophe are. For a, uh, a, uh, a M M we use only M after apostrophe and for A R E R we use only R E and for is we we use only S he is is he apostrophe S she is is she apostrophe S it is is it apostrophe S we are is we apostrophe R E they are is they apostrophe R E and he will is he apostrophe double L. For will, we use only double L. Double L is followed after the apostrophe. She will, she apostrophe double L. So, students, you need to learn these short forms. But do keep in mind that short forms are generally used in speaking. Now, some more short forms. I have is I apostrophe VE. For have, we uh, only use VE. You have U apostrophe VE. He has he apostrophe S. She has she apostrophe S. For is and has, both we use only the word S. It depends upon the usage of the word in the sentence. For she has she apostrophe S. It has it apostrophe s. We have v apostrophe v e. They have they apostrophe v e. We will v apostrophe double l. And they will they apostrophe double l. So, students, these were some short forms which you need to learn. Now, students, some more short forms. We also add not to some words and make their short forms. Now, let's go through them also. Let's revise them also. Is not, is, isn't. Here, keep in mind, in the negative words, 
we use apostrophe after the n in the negative verse we use apostrophe after the n is not is isn't are not aren't was not wasn't were not weren't do not don't does not doesn't did not didn't has not hasn't have not haven't had not hadn't will not won't cannot can't should not shouldn't could not couldn't now students you need to remember the tip that some words have two different long forms for example for both he is and he has we use the short form he apostrophe s and for he would and he had we use the same short form that is he apostrophe did and for it is and it has we use it uh, apostrophe s so students these things if you learn and keep in mind you never make a mistake in using the apostrophe now students this was about the short forms now uh, we'll revise about possessions possessions apostrophe is used to show possession possession means we can say that something belongs to somebody or something by using s uh, for example let's read the sentences carefully the name of my mother is kamini mishra so now to show the possession we can also write the sentence as my mother's name is kamini mishra in this we have used apostrophe with the word we have used the word apostrophe with mother so my mother's name is kamini mishra the name of my mother has been written as my mother's you need to keep this in mind second example the voice of kalash kher is appealing now kalash kher's voice is appealing now this shows whose voice voice of kalash kher so now this shows possession in the first sentence whose mother my mother my mother's name is kamini mishra not everybody's mother's name is kamini mishra so apostrophe is used to show possession means a particular thing or a particular person belongs to whom whose mother yours mother whose voice kalash k's voice third example the car of my friend is new so whose car is new my friend's car so with friend we whose friend my friend so my friend's car is new the years of rabbit salad rabbit's years are large whose years are large rabbit's years so with rabbits but now you need to keep this in mind ki where there is a plural noun the apostrophe comes after s any word ending with s you need to keep in mind that apostrophe will be followed after s and you in singular noun it will come before s aapko ye cheez beta dhyan mein rakhna hai ki agar aapka noun plural hai और लास्ट में एस लगा हुआ है तो अपोस्टिफी का साइन एस के बाद आएगा लेकिन अगर नाउन सिंगुलर है और तो अपोस्टिफी का साइन एस के पहले आएगा लेकिन कुछ वर्ड्स में लास्ट में जहां भी आपको एस दिखेगा आपको बेटा ये चीज याद रखनी है कि आपका जो अपोस्टिफी का साइन है वो एस के बाद में आएगा प्लूरल जिन भी वर्ड्स के लास्ट में एस होता है हमेशा अपोस्टिफी का साइन एस के बाद आता है और सिंगुलर में अगर हम एस ऐड करेंगे तो अपोस्टिफी का साइन एस के पहले आएगा आप एग्जांपल नंबर फोर्थ में देख सकते हैं रैबिट्स प्लूरल था तो एस है लास्ट में तो अपोस्टिफी का साइन कहाँ आया एस के बाद में आया सो प्लीज कीप दिस रूल इन माइंड सेम फिफ्थ एग्जांपल द हॉस्टल इन विच गर्ल्स लिव इज नियर बाय अब बेटा यहाँ पे गर्ल्स वर्ड में एस कहाँ है लास्ट में एस है तो जब हम इसको पोजेशन में अपोस्टफी लगाएंगे यू कैन लुक ओवर यर तो अपोस्टफी एस के बाद आएगा गर्ल्स एस के पहले और जहाँ पे सिंगुलर है वहां पे एस के पहले आएगा जहाँ प्लूरल है वहां एस के बाद आएगा आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू सो दैट यू विल नॉट मेक मिस्टेक इन सॉल्विंग द एक्सरसाइज नाउ 
एस शोज बिलोंगिंग जब भी हम अपोस्टफी एस लगाते हैं पोजेशन दिखाने के लिए तो वो बताता है बेटा कि ये चीज किसकी है पोजेशन बताता है एस इज एडेड टू सिंगुलर नाउन्स और प्लूरल नाउन्स विच डोंट एंड इन एस अब बेटा एस कहाँ एड होता है उनमें अपोस्टफी का साइन पहले आता है जहाँ सिंगुलर चीज हो जैसे राम्स चाइल्ड चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन प्लूरल वर्ड है बेटा लेकिन लास्ट में एस नहीं है एन आ रहा है इसलिए अपोस्टफी का साइन के बाद हम एस लगाएंगे ये आपको याद रखना है एम ई एन मैन प्लूरल है उसके बाद में अपोस्टफी जिन भी वर्ड्स में जो कोई भी वर्ड प्लूरल हो अगर लास्ट में एस नहीं है तो अपोस्टफी के साइन के बाद एस आएगा लेकिन जिस भी वर्ड में लास्ट में एस है आपको ये याद रखना है कि अपोस्टफी का साइन एस के बाद आएगा नौ राम राम्स अपोस्टफी साइन ऑफ अपोस्टी इज बिफोर एस चाइल्ड साइन ऑफ अपोस्टफी इज बिफोर एस चिल्ड्रन साइन ऑफ अपोस्टफी इज बिफोर एस मैं साइन ऑफ अपोस्टफी इज बिफोर एस नाउ द वर्ड्स हैविंग एस एट द एंड प्लूरल बॉयज द साइन ऑफ अपोस्टफी इज कमिंग आफ्टर एस बेबीज द साइन ऑफ अपोस्टफी इज कमिंग आफ्टर एस सोल्जर्स द साइन ऑफ अपोस्टफी इज कमिंग आफ्टर एस बर्ड्स साइन ऑफ अपोस्टफी इज कमिंग आफ्टर एस सो यू नीड टू नो दीज वर्ड्स जहाँ पे एस लास्ट में है वहां पे अपोस्टफी का साइन एस के बाद आता है प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस नाउ विल कंटिन्यू विद आर एक्सरसाइज